In a world first, a university today launched a virtual exercise program that tricks the mind into believing it's doing strenuous work when it's not. It works the same as a virtual reality computer game. You can pretend you're someone, somewhere you're not. The Minister for Innovation jumped at the chance to jump behind the wheel and show why he works in politics. <laughs> this program is being used by the Holden Performance Driving Centre. Impressed, it just gets better at the Griffith University Active Visualisation Lab. Technology is so advanced that even the Minister couldn't keep up. <laughs> Exercise for cheats, or more importantly, people with disabilities. These are the sorts of things that could be in people's homes. I mean, the, the smart part of this is about using existing technology to better understand illnesses. Griffith University has its sights set on Parkinson's patients. Parkinson's patients have been shown to be able to initiate their walking if you put a simple pencil on the ground. We want to do it much more than that in terms of giving them a virtual environment using fancy computer graphics. And, so. and the trusty computer mouse could soon be a thing of the past. This eye tracking device can be used to drive a car or a computer. The hot tip, five years and they will be on our desktop. Renee Buckingham, 9 Gold Coast News.